a question <laughs> on that from tech. He says, so what if you hit, and this has happened to me, what if you hit above the target, but this tag still aren't generating views? What, what does that tell you about your optimization? So if you are, my first question would be, are you ranking, right? So assuming you're ranking, my question would then be, how is your thumbnail performing? Because what part of search and discovery and the YouTube algorithm looks at is like, they can send out your video, but people might not be clicking through. And that's usually based around the thumbnail and as well as the title. So what I would say is, if, if you don't mind me sharing the screen again, I would like to just kind of show how you can see how your, you know, your videos are performing in that way. So if I click on the TubeBuddy drop down menu, I'm going to go to the videos page and I'm just going to choose a video just to kind of give you an idea of how it's performing. So I will just pick a video at random. Why don't we do, um, I'll go ahead and pick, you know, is TubeBuddy safe? It's a little older of a video, but if I go to the analytics here, and I'll zoom in because I think this is a little zoomed out. You know, I can see that it's driving views through YouTube search, but what I want to make sure is what is my click-through rate? Because what YouTube does is it's, it has things called impressions click-through rate where YouTube will show your video to people and that's called an impression. But a lot of times what happens is you could be ranking and they're sending it to video the people your videos, but they're not clicking through. So what happens is you could be doing everything in that realm right where it's like, hey, I'm ranking, but no one's watching. So that's where you have to look at your impressions click-through rate. Now, YouTube says that a average click-through rate, so I'm go I know this can get heavy, but basically what you need to think of is the average is between 2 to 10%. So if you're above 10% click-through rate, that means when if YouTube shows it off to people, that's how many people click through. So once you're in analytics, you're going to go to reach. Then I want you to go on impressions, click through rate, and then we're going to click see more because if you're targeting search, which is what we teach, this will show you how your video is performing in search because what can happen is that YouTube showing it to people, they're just not clicking on it. And that is one of those situations where the video could be great, but if no one clicks through to watch, it doesn't matter that your SEO is good because your thumbnail is stopping you. So if we look here in YouTube search, we have about a 10% click through rate Impressions click-through rate is 10%. So YouTube showed this to about 40, 48,000 people, right? So an impression means that's an individual person on a YouTube account, on a YouTube thing. So when you're scrolling on your phone, when that means that they showed your thumbnail, they showed your video. So YouTube has shown my video to 48,000 people. But of those 48,000, only about 5,394 clicked through. So you could be ranking... But the problem is, is that your thumbnail. So that's why you have to be super critical. If you see your click-through rate is low, but your impressions are high, what's happening is YouTube is trying to get your content out there, but they're just not watching it. And that's where, you know, looking at your thumbnail, maybe considering a thing you can do with TubeBuddy is A-B testing, like really playing around with your thumbnail can matter because a lot of times it's exactly like an album cover. If I can't easily tell that that's a Drake album just by quickly looking at it, I'm going to skim through it. I'm going to maybe go somewhere else. And again, I know vis I know music's more, you know, audio, but in that realm, that's kind of the closest comparison I can give. A lot of times what happens is videos can rank, but their thumbnail is stopping them from getting views because people just aren't clicking through. What have you found to be some best practices for making effective thumbnails? So when it comes to one, every audience is different, right? So what I first always recommend is look at your thumbnails that have performed first. So go back and see if you have a performer. A lot of times if YouTube is suggesting or recommending your co your content, they've noticed that, hey, it's done well in one vertical in the past. So what I would say is if you're talking about an artist, does it make sense to feature that artist organically within the cover or within the thumbnail? Because people are gonna associate Drake with Drake. Even if it's maybe not that specific, maybe you have his logo or something that's commonly associated with him. Going into other artists, you know, The Weeknd, Travis Scott, all the different, you know, artists have their own different, like there's XO, there's OVO, there's all these different, you know, brands. So maybe they recognize that. It's being able to recognize what people associate with them and how you can have your own twist and flair. And that's easy to say hard to implement. So what I always tell people is look what has performed for you. What is getting you people to click through and watch?